Uh, well, I'm lucky in that I talk to consumers all over the country in focus groups and through surveys um, every week, every month. And I find that very inspiring. Sometimes when you're talking to people, they could be business people, they could be members of the general public, you get a really, uh, real insight into what's going on, what their needs are, what they're looking for, what their ideas are. And I find it very encouraging because there's a real appetite for change and for innovation at the moment in Ireland. Um, a recent idea I came across, which I thought was really good, is the idea called Groupon. And it's a play on group and coupon. And instead of people getting individual coupons that maybe give them so much off a product they want to buy, groups of people come together on a website and say that they would like a deal for a TV or a holiday. And they use their combined buying power then to persuade a supplier to give them collectively a, a coupon that allows them all to get maybe 20 or 30% off the price. The person I find most inspiring is Michael O'Leary and Ryan Eyre. Um, he's not necessarily the most popular um, for different reasons, though he is probably for the air travellers of Ireland for what he has done. Um, but I, I find that his kind of willingness to challenge the establishment, cha challenge the incumbent uh, way of doing things and be very innovative is really quite inspiring. And I think we need more people like him to shake things up a little bit in Ireland. I think to do the work I do in market research you have to have um, a certain level of curiosity or even nosiness if you want to call it what it is. I like finding out about people, I like talking to people, seeing what's going on, um, getting ideas from them, learning about their needs or their issues or their plans. And that kind of curiosity, I think, is a big driver of anybody who works in the market research business. I'd like to do something like be a tour guide um, because it's a great opportunity. You have an audience. Um, you have a chance to talk about something you're passionate about um, and you can learn more and more about and you have that interaction all the time with people on the tour with you and so on. So I actually think something like that, being a tour guide in Dublin or something like that would actually be a fun thing to do. I think if I was looking back, what would I do differently? Um, I would probably have avoided incurring costs before I was certain about the revenue. Now, it's a very technical business kind of answer, but everyone in business has been in the situation where they've acquired costs in hope of revenue, whether it's staff or equipment or whatever. Um, and that then means that you're kind of got a longer climb back to break even and to profit. So uh, I would certainly think that that would be something I would do differently. I would like to say I rate inspiration more than perspiration, but in the real world, it's down to perspiration, hard work, effort, just getting up every day and getting out there and doing your thing. My favorite way of keeping in touch with customers is simply talking to them, meeting them face to face. Uh, twice a year, we actually get all our customers together uh, in uh, a hotel or a venue and talk to them a little bit about what we see going on. But actually, most of the time, we're just sitting around talking to them. They're talking to one another. And I find that actually the very, a very effective way of keeping in touch. The best business advice I've ever been given is to value free advice. Um, because it's very often the case that you get advice, particularly when you're young and you're kind of, you think you know it all, um, and somebody tells you something and you kind of say, yeah, yeah, and then you sort of do your own thing, usually the opposite of what you're advised to do. And sometimes with hindsight, you begin to realize, actually, that was a very good piece of advice I was given. Because I wasn't paying for it, I didn't put any value on it. So I think value, free advice would be my uh, best lesson. I think the big advantage of doing business in Ireland, um, especially right now, is that people are open to new ideas and new thinking. 
they're open to innovation. Sure, they're afraid, they're uncertain, they're faced with lots of risks right now. But previously, I think we got a little bit smug, a little bit self-satisfied as a business community, as a people around where we were and where, where we were going in 2006, 2007. Now that smugness is gone um, and people are sort of saying, OK, I've got to do things differently. And my, the impression I have, and it's certainly an impression I've gained from this roadshow, is that there's a far greater willingness to try different things around the country than might have been the case before. The best advice I could give someone now is to be hopeful. Um, and because you're to be more pos positive about the future, hope is the emotion that connects us with the future. And I think in business you have to be hopeful. Um, you have to be a, um, a glass half full optimist in order just to get out of bed and do the business. And I would be hopeful and I would inspire others to be hopeful that there will be opportunities for growth, there will be opportunities for profit and for uh, wealth creation and job creation in the coming months and years and to act accordingly.